We have some very creative ways where we do our evaluations and our testing. We use our own lab tests that tell us information that some of the most accurate labs out there really can't tell because we're looking at different things with different eyes and different purpose. And the lab test commonly tells me a story of what's going on in somebody's body. We had to come up with a different way of, of testing um, when we were getting ready to move. We had a lot of people asking us, begging us actually, to figure out a way to work with them at a distance. I was really reluctant to do that. But finally, said, all right, I'll, I'll test some things out. And we started testing people farther and farther and farther from where we were. And the end result of our testing, we were testing people at a distance far away that we didn't know where they were. They, we, we didn't know who they were. We didn't know what they had. And then we'd bring them into our office and we'd test them again. We found that the results were exactly the same which was a very humbling experience for me. It made me realize the Lord had given us a authority and an accuracy with things that's really not statistically possible or common, but it's something we're very comfortable with just because we do what we do with integrity gave us more authority than most people have. So what we do is we simply we use quantum physics to hook somebody up to a surrogate. Now you wonder how in the world does that work? With the quantum physics, um, we're using airways, very much like a telephone, commonly we'll use one. And you don't understand how a telephone really works. You know that it works, you accept that it works, and you use it all the time. You can call somebody up, you can recognize their voice from the other end. They could be halfway around the world. Static is gone from a lot of the modern telephone lines that we have right now. And you can clearly hear the voice, all the voice inflections, all the motion that goes on within a conversation, you accept the fact that that's something you can commonly do. Well, we use the same type of technology using quantum physics to change different electromagnetic waves that come off of a person to, to test us through somebody farly distant. It's called surrogate testing. It's really a common aspect when you look at that com in combination with the way we do. There are studies in PubMed that show that the the type of testing we do is the most accurate form of testing that there possibly is, 95 to 97% accurate, depending on which study you want to look at. So it's really valid, it's really scientifically based, it's not some out there thing that um, isn't really understandable at all. It's, it's really based on some really concrete, factual issues that are very scientifically based, just a real forward process of doing that and his accuracy is extremely accurate. Uh, as a for instance, it wasn't long ago we had a young child who spent five and a half days in a research hospital. In those five and a half days they were constantly doing scans, they were doing testing, they couldn't figure out what was going on. She couldn't walk, she couldn't be touched, she was in so much pain. They just laid in bed. And we evaluated that person. They were over a thousand miles away. We evaluated that young child um, about two hours. We knew what was going on. We knew how to address it. They started to do what we directed them to. That was late in the afternoon. The next morning, she was able to get up out of bed. And I'm not saying she stayed out of bed all day long, but in three days, she was outside frequently, but she was able to go outside and she's been healing ever since. So that's a really common accuracy that was what we have. So I'm just sharing that with you to let you just be at peace and be at rest that it's extremely accurate, it's consistently accurate, and allows us to have results of restoring people's health that few, if any, can even equal or touch. So that's the good news for you. It's It offers you an your life back, basically. So I hope that gives you some rest.